it's critical that you understand what an outlet is. This is one of the most misunderstood concepts in the entire NEC, and it can have some serious ramifications. Uh, probably the most obvious is in section 210.8, which is GFCI protection. So in 210.8, subsection A talks about receptacles in dwellings. B talks about receptacles in other than dwellings. And then if you keep on reading, you'll see some requirements for dwellings and other than dwellings, and it talks about outlets. And it's a little bit confusing if you don't know the definition of an outlet, because when it says that outdoor outlets have to be GFCI protected, you might think, well, I already read that. Of course, outdoor receptacle outlets have to be protected. Well, there's a difference between an outlet and a receptacle outlet or a lighting outlet. So let's take a look at what an outlet is. An outlet is defined as a point on the premises wiring system where current is taken to supply utilization equipment. Okay, so what we have in the photograph here is two receptacle outlets. We've got a receptacle outlet for the receptacle that's going to serve an electric range We've got a receptacle outlet that would serve the range if they choose to install a gas range. So either of those are points on the premises wiring system. Current is going to be taken there and they're going to supply utilization equipment. So these are both outlets. More specifically, those would be receptacle outlets. We also have things like lighting outlets and a lighting outlet is an outlet for the direct connection of a luminaire or a lamp holder. So we have receptacle outlets and we have lighting outlets. But what about this photograph here? Well, the connection of the air conditioner to the premises wiring, to the conductors inside of that liquid tight raceway, that connection point is also an outlet. Let's see if it ticks all the boxes. It's a point on the premises wiring system. Current is taken at that point and it supplies utilization equipment at that point. So that would be an outlet. So when we see rules into 10.8F, for example, that say we need to protect outlets at dwelling units, they're talking about the outlet like at an air conditioner. And that's why it's not just receptacle outlets, and that's why that section has an exception for lighting outlets, because all of these things are outlets, but the outlets that we're talking about in that section would be here at the point where it connects to the unit. Now, some people will argue that the disconnect itself is the outlet, and I don't agree with that. Uh, if you think about your bedroom, for example, you might have your light switch, and that controls what? The lighting outlet, the luminaire. The switch is not the outlet. The lighting outlet is the outlet. So again, a point on the premises wiring system where current is taken to supply utilization equipment. Current is not taken at the switch. Current is taken at the connection to the unit. So that's where the outlet is. A smoke alarm is installed at an outlet. Again, does it tick the boxes? It's a point on the premises wiring system. Current is taken there and it's supplying utilization equipment. Is a smoke alarm utilization equipment? Yes, it meets the definition of utilization equipment. A switch is not an outlet, right? It is a point on the premises wiring system. Current really isn't taken at that point. Current is taken at the light, at the lighting outlet. And does it supply utilization equipment? No, a switch does not utilize electric energy. The lighting outlet, the luminaire, utilizes the, uh, the electrical energy. Kind of a strange one would include something like a transformer. Is a transformer an outlet? You know, years ago when I first started kind of geeking out into the code book, I, I kind of told myself, well, a box with a wire in it is an outlet. And then I realized that a switch is a box with a wire in it and it's not an outlet. And I'll be honest with you, it was only a couple of years ago that a friend of mine pointed out that a transformer connection is probably not an outlet either because a transformer does not, does not meet the definition of utilization equipment. And if we read the definition of outlet, it's a point on the premises wiring system where current is taken to supply utilization equipment. Well, that's not utilization equipment by definition. So it's kind of interesting. A transformer is a bit of an anomaly. 
because it's not utilization equipment, that means the conductors supplying it are not a branch circuit because a branch circuit ends at the utilization equipment. This is not utilization equipment. So believe it or not, the conductor supplying a transformer and the conductors leaving a transformer are both considered a feeder circuit. So kind of a, a strange little example there. But really, the, the part that I wanna emphasize is the difference between an outlet and a receptacle outlet or a lighting outlet. Receptacles are installed at outlet points. Luminaires are installed at outlet points. Hardwired utilization equipment is also installed at an outlet point. So your smoke alarm is installed at an outlet. Your air conditioner is installed at an outlet. And certainly receptacles are installed at receptacle outlets. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.